Hey y'all, I'm here with the blueberries. I got my pH back on my soil test and it's 6.25. That is too high for blueberries. Blueberries like more closer to a four and a half, five range for pH. And so we're gonna use this sulfur to amend our soil and this will help bring the pH down more acidic. This is some high yield sulfur, soil sulfur. You can see on the back here, it's elemental sulfur. And I spoke with um, my local nursery and they recommend using half of this bag. This is a four pound bag. They recommend using half of this now and half of it in October. The reaction that has to take place in the soil to bring this acidity down um, takes six to eight weeks to complete. So this isn't a quick fix, but it should over the next year get this pH to a, a more appropriate range for these blueberries, more closer to four and a half. Uh, remember when you're talking about pH, seven is completely neutral. Lower than seven is acidic, but blueberries like a very acidic soil and higher than seven is basic. So we're gonna add half of this bag, sprinkle it along this bed here for the blueberries now and then October we'll do the other half and we'll do another soil test in February of next year. And then we'll see where we are, see if we need to add any more. The representative at the garden center told me that with our clay soil here in Louisiana, typically our pH, once we get it down, it's not gonna budge very much. Um, he said the city water might make it a little more alkaline, but our rain is pretty acidic here. So we should expect once we get the pH down, to a range that the blueberries will enjoy, then we shouldn't really have a problem with pH. I also picked up some fertilizer. This is Azalea Tone from Espoma. Uh, it's organic fertilizer. Uh, azaleas and rhododendrons also like acidic soil, so this is the appropriate uh, fertilizer for blueberries. So we're gonna also apply some of this to our blueberries. Let me give you a little close up of what I've done so far. So here's the blueberry bed. What I've done so far is just raked away the mulch that I have and I use my rake just to kind of roughen up the soil. This is roughly three feet going this way and roughly 15 feet coming all along to here. So we're gonna amend this whole area with two pounds of elemental sulfur. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on and then rake it in. I'm also gonna add in the fertilizer and rake that in as well. For this azalea tone, the bag recommends for established garden beds to use five pounds per 100 square feet of garden beds. Um, so this is a four pound bag and this roughly 15 foot by three foot is roughly 45 square feet. So I'm gonna use two pounds of this. I'll use half of this now and I'll save some for the fall. We'll do a half of an application in the fall. This is approximately two cups of the elemental sulfur. I measured out the bag. It looked to be about three of these. So I'm gonna do one and a half of these now. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. what it looks like now that I have the sulfur and the fertilizer all scratched in with the garden rake. What I have left to do now is just get some mulch back on top of it and give it a good water. All right y'all so that's it for today. Thanks for watching how we are amending our soil for our blueberries taking it from a 6.25 pH down to closer to 4.5. We used elemental sulfur that we got from the garden center. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe, um, maybe you feel a little bit more confident in amending your soil for your blueberries. Don't forget to get your soil test. That way you know what to do. Thanks for joining. See you in the next video. Y'all, I was just walking in the backyard and I'm so excited. Let me show you what I found. Look at these gorgeous spider lilies. <gasps> they are so beautiful. I can't believe I had these in my backyard and I didn't know. I'm definitely going to have to relocate these to the front yard. 
I'm gonna wait till they finish blooming though so I can enjoy the blooms. Look at how beautiful those are. Wow. It is so exciting when you find something beautiful, wild, and native.